guys, Pia here, get on your feet music. And today it's time for the C chord. Finally! I feel way better. Sorry for letting you wait so long, but it's now time for the C chord. <laughs> So this time we're going to use four fingers, not like the other chords with the three fingers. We're going to start with one, finger one, two, three, and four. And how are we going to place these fingers? Well, I'm going to show you a closer shot on what's happening on the board so that you can make notes from that. We're going to use finger number one, and we're going to place that on the B, the B string, big ears. Remember, the big, the second string from the bottom is the big ears. Okay, first fret, second string, B. Got that? Quickly do that, let's see. Good. Now we're going to skip a string, the third string. We're going to place the second finger on fret 2. We're going to place the third finger on fret 3, string 6. Okay? Sounds odd. We're going to take the fourth finger, mine is a bit skew, we're going to put it on the fifth string. Okay? Just like that. You can strum it from the top. And that's your C. If you want a little bit of a shortcut, let's take away the fourth finger. Let's use our third finger and put that where the fourth finger was. We can play the same. Okay? I like the other method uh, where we use the fourth finger. It sounds a bit fuller. So that is using your fingers. I'll zoom in to the schematic so that you can use it in your own time. But let's quickly talk about things. Like I mentioned, recap. First fret, first finger on the second string, the B string. When you place your finger on that string, you are shortening the string. Then it's not a open B anymore. You are then pressing here, which is C, okay, beginning of the C chord, then, like I have here in the schematic, then we skip a string, which is the open G, then our second finger on the fourth string, open string, it will be D, but the second finger is playing a E. The fourth finger on the third fret on the fifth string, which would be open A, we are actually playing a C. Okay? And our third finger that we will place on the third fret on the sixth string, that one is an open E. But when we place our third finger on the third fret, we are playing a G. So, in recap, if you place your fingers, and we play the strings from the top, we're actually playing a G, C, E, open G, played with the first finger C, and open E. 
So that's what's nice about this C chord. It's uh, oh yeah, I, I I can remember this one. It's G C E G C E. I like that. I like that method. Okay, like I taught you about the root. The root would be the lowest C. We're looking at the C chord today. So, although we're playing a C here and we're playing a C here. This would be the root. It's the lowest C when we're playing the C chord. The root of this chord would be there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of a quick rundown on the C chord. We are there now. Now we can just put things together. Um, next time we'll start working on some strumming and then we can start looking at a strum pattern for singing just a normal happy birthday to your loved one guys thank you so much for your support i had support from all over nearly um, i'm not going to tell you exactly where i had support because i don't want you to obviously mail friends everywhere and say yeah please subscribe no i want my channel to 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 take a journey all around the world if it has to thank you so much for your support and uh, see you next time when we start with the strumming ciao